Hey guys, Austin here, Highway Dreams, FitechEFITuning.com. I'm burning up here, I'm hot, I'm sweaty. I don't have a lot of time to do these things anymore, and I've been promising you guys a few videos, so I thought I'd stop real quick. I got a second to show you something that I was asked for last week, and it was about how to hook up your throttle, where to put the throttle, what kind of brackets you use, stuff like that. There's been many different ways I've seen it done. Uh, some of them work, some of them don't work, so I'm not going to say my way is the perfect way but it has worked every time for me. So here, I'm gonna give you an example. I'm gonna switch over here. If I can figure out. <sighs> All right, folks, this is my 67 Daily Driver Chevy C10. As you can see, it is filthy. I'm right next to a concrete plant, so when the truck gets set outside, it gets dusty, I have to clean it off all the time. But I ain't got time to clean that up for you today. This ain't a show car video, this is make it work video. So. Here we go. This is the throttle bracket I use. Pretty basic, generic. You can get them on Amazon for, I don't know, 25, 30 bucks. They're, they're nothing. You don't have to go buy a name brand. They're all the same. In fact, they look so much identical. I think they're made by all the same companies. Um, I have updated mine to a cable, but it used to have a rod uh, for factory. Um, so, they're, you know, I made it work both ways. The only thing is you want to make sure of is that you're cable or your rod is exactly perpendicular with your level with your with your throttle shaft when it's setting in an idle position and also you want to use the large top hole on the Phytech by doing this you use you um, you give gain yourself leverage it makes the throttle a lot smoother you got a lot more response and, and, and able to uh, to uh, not have that snappy throttle uh, what you need to do is go and grab what they call a throttle shaft bushing or a throttle level lever bushing or just a throttle bushing And it'll be a clamshell that goes in that large hole and either one side will have a step or both sides will have a step I usually just use one side that has a step and use a washer on the back side because it's too wide then I take a, a throttle um, uh, Excuse me throttle post throttle uh, Can't think of the word right now, but you know what I'm talking about Get over here to a better angle so you can see what I'm talking about. And then bolt it all together. This has been the best way for throttle. Uh, when you put it down here in this lower holes, they just don't work right. I also don't use the big, the two big springs that usually come with these kits. I use just a lightweight spring. The spring in the unit is pretty, tar is pretty tight, but they don't like to go all the way to idle sometimes. So you want just a little bit of a light spring to make sure and pull it all the way to idle. So... Hopefully this helps you guys out a little bit. Make a comment, question, whatnot. We might try and pin this post. I think it's a good information and it's just a, the whole thing I might have 30, 35 bucks in and, and it, it works every day. Like I said, it's been my daily driver for five years. So good luck to you guys.